Hey guys, long time no vlog, it feels like. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Allison and I'm a grad student here in Tokyo and I'm gonna be taking you through a week in my life here. So last week I actually got my second dose of the vaccine and that kind of, <laughs> that kind of like took me out of commission for a few days. So I haven't actually filmed this week's upload yet. It is Wednesday and I'm supposed to upload a video on Wednesday, so I need to film and edit a video today. So that's just what I'm gonna be doing. Yeah, the side effects were kind of, you know, but it's so much better than the alternative. So I'm very happy that I'm now, you know, fully vaxxed basically, cause that means I can actually probably go home sometime in the next few months, maybe at the end of the year, I'm not sure, uh, but I hope, you know. Honestly, I don't want to go home right now because the situation in America isn't, it's not looking great. Uh, okay, but anyway, I need to hang out my laundry. And yeah, I got really behind on all chores and things I needed to do because basically I just, I was either busy or I was working or I was sick for the past week. So my room is a mess and I have a lot of bills to pay. All right, so let's get moving and I'm going to film the video. Okay, I just filmed the video and now my throat hurts. <laughs> Between like talking all day long, like really loudly in the classroom. And then whenever I have to sit down and like film like a long video of me talking, it's like, I feel like I sound so scratchy. <laughs> okay, well, let's get to work. Okay, so <laughs> it's five o'clock now because I just messed around and did stuff. And now I need to edit the video. So it needs to be uploaded within seven hours from now. Um, I think I can do it though, because I'm not planning on doing much fancy editing stuff. So I just have the video. Oops, come here. Okay, and now it's here, and I need to cut down this 20 minute clip into a video. Right now I'm using DaVinci Resolve. Okay, stop, stop this. Right now I'm using DaVinci Resolve, but I wanna switch to either Adobe or Final Cut, but um, I haven't been able to decide. So let me know your thoughts if you have any. <laughs> uh, the only reason I really want Adobe was because I want Photoshop, but I know that price is gonna add up I do get the student discount for now, but I don't know. Um, so I think I'm gonna switch in September sometime. I wanted to in August, but I ran out of money. So let's edit. All right, I just finished the rough cut. It's clocking in at 12 minutes right now, which is pretty good. I'm happy with that. And it's 5.51, I did take a little break in there though. So so I guess it took me about maybe 45, 40 minutes to do that, which isn't, it's not that bad. Cause I had like 20 minutes of footage originally. Okay, I have determined, I do have enough time to go grocery shopping and edit it and all that. I was waiting for it to become nighttime actually because it's way too hot out in the day. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store and buy dinner too, cause I'm really hungry as always. Okay, this is my dinner. Got a little salad, some hidekatsu, 
and rice and a vegetable smoothie because I never eat vegetables. So what if it doesn't want to go to this zoom, it wants to go to one of the older zooms? Get rid of the old zoom. Change my picture. Is that what I should do? No. Okay, somehow I uploaded that in time after helping my mom with like a tech crisis or whatever. So, I got these Shining Muscat uh, Daifukus yesterday from the grocery store. And she said they were good until today. So, I need to eat it now, even though it's midnight and I'm not hungry. So, this is what it looks like. There's, um, I think, Tsubuan inside. Okay, it is good. It's very good. I do prefer normal strawberry one though. Okay, you guys, it is 45 degrees Celsius or 111 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now at almost 3 p.m. But I'm gonna go outside because we have to say goodbye to Oedo Onsen Monogatari. So if you don't know what that is, it's like a big uh, like bathhouse here in Tokyo that's been really popular, especially, you know, like with tourists Japanese people uh, but it's closing down uh, in a week usually I don't go to these things in summer because it's hot and I don't want more hot water on me but I <laughs> it's now or never so we're gonna go and hopefully it's not that crowded it is a weekday oh how wrong I was I don't really know what to expect hoping the heat is gonna keep people away I haven't actually been uh, since I studied abroad in college which was five years ago. Yeah, five years ago now. That's crazy. So yeah, we're gonna go. There is actually another one of these um, just a little bit farther outside of Tokyo. So if you wanna go to this type of thing, you still can. It's just this one is closing down. Really all of Odaiba is gonna have like a huge makeover in the next year or two because a lot of things are closing and they're gonna be redoing a lot of it. So that is exciting because I don't really like Odaiba that much it's kind of it feels very it feels very like an artificial island which is what it is but like it really feels like that I don't know we'll see what they're gonna do okay I need to go <laughs>
Okay, good morning guys. So today I think I'm just gonna go to Ueno, but not really like to do anything, just to like go to a coffee shop and like the 100 yen store. But since I got vaccinated uh, last week, I guess in another week I'll be considered fully vaccinated. So that's good. I don't know what's happening to my hair. I really need to start like switching gears and like working on my thesis because I have to give a presentation on it at the end of September and I probably need to call my advisor and talk to him probably in mid-September I guess so I really need to figure that stuff out but I am hopefully going on another trip <laughs> next week and that's gonna be my last trip I think for a while because you know like university here you know you're like really busy during the semester so you can't really do anything or go anywhere so you have to do everything during your two breaks so yeah I think I'm gonna uh, get really serious about the thesis thing uh, after that trip because I don't know right now my mind's just kind of thinking about having fun which is nice but I can't only have fun what do you guys think about jumpsuits? This isn't related. See, I don't know what I think about um, this look. I don't know. Is it nice or is it kind of weird? I don't know. I got this like last year and I've only worn it a few times because I don't know if I like the look or not. <laughs> already 1 30 but I just got out of bed because it's it was one of those days where you know I was awake but I was just so comfortable in bed I didn't want to get up but I got up just in time and got dressed thankfully to get an Amazon package so I ordered this dress last night and it's here <laughs> um so I don't know if it's gonna fit I've never actually ordered any clothes I think on Amazon before so let's find out okay so it's like a green dress in a size xxl um i don't know how to size online especially in asia You know, actually, I think it's the perfect size for me. It goes down to like right below my knee. I think if I had sized down to the XL, 
it would have fit my body better but I think the sleeves would have been too tight which is why I got the XXL in the first place because my arms are kind of fat <laughs> for at least for for Japan you know I always have a lot of problems fitting in the arm part of like dresses and shirts and things that are tighter so I'm pretty happy with this but I am gonna wash it first before I wear it so let's change back into a tried and true dress okay I know what you're thinking Allison you haven't played Genshin yet if you're not thinking that just pretend please anyways no I'm not playing Genshin right now because I'm on a break from it because I need need to finish Skyward Sword before September 9th because on September 9th Tales of Arise comes out and I am a huge huge Tales fan if you don't know basically the whole reason I wanted to go to Sato Island in my last vlog is because uh they did the tub boat thing in the game so I need my game queue cleared by then because I'm gonna dedicate all my time to playing Tales of Arise so I'm probably not gonna be playing Genshin for a while just kidding just because I can't really handle playing multiple games at once like I don't really have time for it so that's what I've been playing and that's what I'm gonna play today probably because it is Sunday and I have no plans um but I'm gonna be very busy this week because I'm going somewhere and if you want to find out where make sure you follow me on Instagram because I do post in almost real time on there anyway so I've been playing Skyward Sword and then a few weeks ago I started playing this mobile game called Obey Me which is gonna if you know what it is, it's kind of, okay, I'll show you. Okay, so basically the game is like a cell phone screen, like that Korean game from, oh man, like five years ago. Here, I'll go to what I'm on. I've only been playing for, you know, a little bit, so I'm not like all the way through. So basically the premise of this game is that they're all like the, <laughs> the seven, uh, like demons, what do you call them? You know, like Lucifer and Satan <laughs> and stuff like that. So my grandmother would not like me playing this, but, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's an anime kind of game, so just forget about it. Yeah, I'm a pro. So it's just like this for the story mode. It's pretty easy, like anyone can do it. It's really just dependent on your card strength. Okay, yeah, so that's the game, basically. I don't know why this turned into a review for it, but I enjoy it. Okay, so for lunch, I just have some chicken Caesar salad and a little slice of raisin bread for some carbs to keep me actually full. Okay, this is the best angle I've ever filmed in. So, I'm gonna replace my like kitchen mat thing because it is dirty. Like, there's like stains. I don't know, you can't really see it on the camera, I guess, but it's gone in pretty bad and I can't get the stains out. So I got a new one. Yes. Okay, so this is what the new one looks like. It is a lot smaller, but the next size up was too big. But it was like pretty cheap because it was just from three coins. So it was like, I think 800 yen. I do actually really like this though, especially for fall. my dinner here and play Zelda for the rest of the night so I'll see you guys back here again next week and I hope you guys have a lovely I guess it'll be September when I post it yay see you <laughs>